Hello everyone, this has been Sakya here and I'm doing your remaining month of April reading start from the 22nd through the 30th of April 2021. This is going to be for the sign of Scorpio. I will be adding oracle cards in this reading. I will be also pulling charms in this reading. Plus, we will also be taking some um, color cards in this reading as well just to give you additional guidance which color could be lucky for you in terms of your clothing or maybe you, if you wear jewelry, maybe you can wear the, those colors in your jewelry to attract more luck in your life. So, yes, yeah, stay tuned and uh, why not shuffle the cards? Let me remind you, it's a general reading. It may, it may not resonate with everyone out there. So, always pick the messages which are resonating and leave the rest. For personal leads, you can always reach out to me on my email ID in the description box. You can also follow me on Instagram where I do upload daily readings. So, yeah, let's dive into the read and let's find out what is coming up for Scorpions for the remaining month time. <clears throat> Let's begin. Eight of Wands. You will be communicating with someone a lot. You know, there is going to be some uh, back and forth communication that you would be having with a specific someone. Um, will that communication bring you something stable, happy, content, uh, something to be content, uh, something to add content uh, in your life or not? Um, that's something we are going to see but i feel like you know there will be a lot of communication happening back and forth communication with someone maybe it's a someone special or maybe it, it could be about your working career as well let's see more cards here the sun some communication that's adding happiness in your life it can be coming from a from a person or maybe you are the one who is going to reach out to someone and uh which will bring you happiness which is going to bring you um uh, you know um uh, the happy vibe back in your life as well. Let's see more cards here. King of Pentacles. For the majority of you, you could be communicating with someone regarding your work and finances as well. You know, if it is, uh, if, if you are somebody who is, um, <clears throat> um, you know, into business, I feel like, you know, you might be having or attracting a lot of, uh, um, you know, maybe international business uh, partners as well. Maybe there is a lot of growth that you will be experiencing in your work and career zone uh, coming from distant lands. Uh, let's see more cards here. Six of Swords. You might be planning to travel as well. For some of you, maybe you are talking to somebody overseas around your work, finances, uh, business situations. And maybe you would be uh, planning to travel, um, you know, as well in this uh, period of time. Uh, you might be planning at least your travel or something to do with that. Uh, but somehow it is going to be connected to your work scenario. It's not going to be something about your love life for the majority of you. Um... Then we do have the moon, six of pentacles, eight of cups, seven of cups, king of cups, the judgment. And in the deck, we do have the chariot again. For some of you, <clears throat> if there is a connection that has ended recently, um... And if you are in no communication with a specific someone, some sort of divine help is going to intervene in the situation where you would be able to start communicating with the specific someone that you ended a connection with. They might have left you or you might have left them in the recent past. And the communication will start happening between the two of you uh, in this remaining month time. Now, I do see that you would be still busy with your work scenarios, but still you will be communicating with this person. Somebody who left you or you left somebody that you're going to be talking to. So this is definitely a past person that you are talking to. If it applies to your love life, if it applies to your work and career, it, it will be more like on a grand level uh, where you would be talking to different people regarding your work, career and finances. But when it comes to your love life, I feel like you, know, you will be talking to someone, but there is some sort of divine intervention here in this connection, which is going to bring you two together. So there could be something big happening, which is going to make you communicate with this person. Maybe you are traveling, maybe they are traveling, and that's how you're going to start communicating with each other because, you know, um, maybe they are traveling somewhere and they want you to know that. Maybe you are traveling somewhere and you want them to know that. So maybe you will be communicating to each other because of that. But there will be something outside of you two happening which is going to trigger the conversation between the two of you so i do see something else is going to trigger the communication and that something else is going to be the divine help in one way or the other and i feel like you know as you start communicating with each other your emotions your feelings will start 
developing again for the same person it's more of like you know you're gonna start feeling the same emotions for this person that you felt earlier so even if you are in detachment separation the communication is definitely gonna happen between the two of you plus it will just you know um reignite the passion that you share for each other or that you shared for each other um once you start talking it seems like you know your your feelings emotions for each other is going to go sky high basically it's, it's more like you know you will not be able to control your feelings emotions for each other um i do see you will be meeting that person as well and your emotions will make you um uh, think of this person exactly the way they used to think about you so it's going to be you both who will be on the same level as you start communicating so i feel like you know there is a major change major shift coming up for you for your love life during this remaining month time let's see <clears throat> Hold on. <clears throat> Let's see which two colors could be lucky for you in the remaining month of time. <clears throat> Amber, awaken your creativity number 15. So... It's time for you to awaken your creativity. Maybe if you are somebody who has to do with, you know, when it comes to your work and scenarios, maybe you are somebody who's very creative. Uh, maybe you belong to, uh, your work belongs to something creative. So maybe if that's the case, maybe you will be exploring your talent in that area of your life. And uh, you will be having a lot of great ideas coming up for you in the remaining month of time, which is going to help you increase your financial stability as well. Then we do have Rainbow, Connect to Spirit and Nature, number one. Connecting to the spirit in nature is going to bring you a lot of um, understanding about what shall you be doing, how you shall be taking your connections, your relationships, your work scenarios. You will be getting a lot of ideas. So if you connect to your God, if you connect to your, your higher self, if you connect to the nature and, and divine, it will be helping you a lot. Uh, be that in your work front or be that in your love life. So uh, rainbow colors are going to be uh, lucky for you as well. So let's see more cards. Let's see what else do we have coming up for you. <clears throat> Manifesting miracles. Your dream is soon to become reality. Trust your heart and continue to follow its guidance. You will be guided through the right path forward, which is going to bring you closer to your dreams, desires, and wishes. So you would be ma manifesting miracles. So make sure you are thinking thoughts that align you with your desire, be that in love or work life. So you have to trust your intuition and your heart. Follow it and you will be guided through. Um, be that in love or be that in work front. I feel like, you know, you will be having some sort of uh, divine help, like I said earlier. Plus, it can be something, um, I, I wonder what it would be. But yes, something is going to trigger your, uh, you know, your passion. And, it, you know, trigger your uh, need to talk to this person again. And that's how you're going to start communicating with each other um and as you do so it's all gonna change for good i love you these are powerful words there's a lot of love in the connection that you have for this specific someone <clears throat> maybe you don't express it but yes you do have or if your person doesn't express it but still yes they do have strong love for you let's see more cards here okay so we do have Cancer Leo, for some of you, you could be dealing with a Cancer and a Leo. Love yourself, you deserve it. It's time for you to love yourself as well because you deserve it. Prayers will be answered, be that regarding love or work. Happy married life is uh, on the cards. So maybe for some of you, you might be pursuing the connection and taking this connection to the next level. <clears throat> it's more like, you know, as you... Um, as you start communicating, like I said earlier with these cards here, as you start talking to each other, your connection with this specific someone is going to go stronger than ever. Your emotions, your feelings will be um, definitely getting more and more for this specific someone. <clears throat> Let's see more cards here. Possibility. Raise your standards, elevate your expectations. You have unlimited potential. It seems like, you know, um, 
you really need to ex you know um start expecting good be that in love work or home life situation you will be getting all that you want you you might not be like you know oh, especially when it comes to your love life situation you know you you might have not expected something good to come out of this connection but as you start communicating with this person you do see the possibility there you do see that you know there is an unlimited potential in this connection for it to grow to something beautiful so you are going to start expecting heavily around this connection as well and uh, for some of you you might have worked on your your standards to improve your standards maybe that social standards or uh, financial <clears throat> standards and uh, maybe that has been a uh, uh, an issue in the connection earlier as well so maybe you have worked towards it and if not maybe you will be working towards it as you start talking to this person it's going to make you uh, motivate enough to to uh, unleash your true potential in whatever area you are working in maybe it's going to awake help you awaken your own creativity as well being with this person is going to motivate you in one way or the other <clears throat> let's see more cards here Conclusions are within reach. Whatever you need to know right now, I feel like you know, it's all there and you will be, you know, able to conclude everything that has happened and so you could plan the future the right way possible. So, yeah, let's see one last card from this deck and then we're going to take the charms. So, we do have mysticism. There are certain things that you are unaware of, be that in love or be that in work. And as you as you proceed with the with the, uh, you know, um, with the with the with this uh, remaining month time, you are going to start unfolding a lot of things happening for you. Like you know, it's it's more like uh, one thing will lead to another, and the, uh, then that thing will lead to another. Like even if you start talking to this person, you are unaware of what's happening. Why you you know there is going to be like I said earlier, you there will be something which is going to trigger the communication. Once the communication happens, one thing will lead to another and then that thing will lead to another. So it's more like a, there is some divine thing happening in the background for the two of you and for you in the, you know, overall as well. So which you will not be aware of. So just let them happen and, you know, just go with the flow. Don't stress a lot, uh, around it a lot. You know, why this, why that? Just go with the flow and see where it goes or where it takes you to together. So let's see what the charms have to add to the week. No alphabets. So we do have King of Pentacles and Three of Wands. There is something that you are waiting for, which is going to add more stability to your life. It can be your work scenarios. Maybe <clears throat> you are waiting for some good news to come your way. Uh, let me take one more card from this deck. From the charms. You will be getting that good news, whatever it is, which is going to add more stability in your life. For some of you, you might be traveling. <clears throat> you might be traveling to some Arab countries or something and things are changing in your life very swiftly and I do see travel you know in your cards so maybe for some of you you might be traveling or maybe your person would be traveling you are going to attract a lot of sunshine in your life happiness in your life um, you you might be having a lot of communication through laptops. Um, you know, maybe it's uh, email stuff going on between you and a specific someone, be that regarding your work or career or finances or love life. Um, <clears throat> this is the perfect time to water the right things in your life so <clears throat> you flourish them, the goodness and the happiness. You might be traveling with the helicopter again. Um, try to feed happy thoughts in your mind and... Um, Hold on. <clears throat> and try to water love, care, and happiness within the connection. I love you to the moon man back. Maybe it's your love, feelings, and emotions for a specific someone, or someone else has these emotions for you. <clears throat> so, yeah, this premise should coming up for you for the remaining month of time. If the reading resonates with you, to like, subscribe, and share. If you are willing to get a personal read, you can always reach out to me for that. <clears throat> on my email id in the description box till i do the next video for you guys take care bye bye